Hi everybody, welcome. So here we are with a Timu haul that is in a box and I'm super excited. Oh, and I just now noticed that the box is like completely ripped on this one side. But uh, hopefully everything stayed in it. I only now just noticed that, that's weird. Okay, so anyway, thank you so much if you are uh, returning and welcome if you are new here. Thank you so much for coming. I am here with a little bit of a different background. Uh, it's so hard for me to find spots to go because of the animals. Uh, you might hear Bella and there's Tyson there playing with Romeo who's sitting on the printer. Um, but yeah, so anyway, welcome. Thank you so much. I'm super excited about this as I just wave my scissors around in the air at you. Um, my production manager over here is slacking a little bit. He, uh, yeah, I don't know what his deal is. He, I think I'm gonna nickname him Cheech or Chong, Cheech or Chong. I'm starting to feel like he is stoned all the time. He literally, his eyes are half shut all the time. He is sleeping all the time. So he's sleeping on the job 99% of the time. And uh, yeah, he just, he sleeps sitting up. He constantly has the munchies, you know. If it wasn't, uh, he all but really held a gun to me for treats. Um, that's how crazy he is. So yeah, so he's over there, my production manager, which anybody who wants to complain about Romeo, I should probably stop waving these scissors. Anyway, anybody who wants to complain about Romeo, feel free, but I'm probably just gonna ignore you, um, to be honest. But you might hear Bella in the background. Uh, I'm half tempted to let her out just so that you can see how rowdy it gets. Um, you know, and typically I only put her in there at night because she'll either get on my furniture and scratch holes in it, which she's done before, or she will just chew everything. <clears throat> and she is still kind of a puppy, so that's why. But, so those are really the only two times when I'm filming or at night when we're sleeping. Uh, Tyson is pretty cool. If you, if you tell Tyson, um, let's go get a bath, he chills out. Um, that's, his, that's his code word for settle down. Do you wanna get a bath? Uh, Coco, on the other hand, she, She's kind of like a, she's the carpet Karen. She only stays on the carpet. Like the floor is lava down here for sure. And she never comes down here. So she'll stay on the carpet, you know, on the landing, on the stairs, upstairs. And she gets super excited when you go up to see her, but she's kind of like, she's a little diva. She likes to sit in front of the mirror and just stare at herself, which is so creepy. She's constantly in the bathroom, in my bathroom, in Jade's bathroom, just, staring at herself in the mirror. And when you're laying in bed, sometimes you'll find yourself, you know, you'll you'll look over and you'll you'll just see her staring through the mirror at you, which is creepy. But anyway. So there are my pet stories. Oh, and I wanted to I I kind of have a special guest and um if you're not crazy about uh rodents, then maybe just um just fast forward a little bit until I get to the part where you see the orange box, okay? Because I wanted to pull out my little midget. Uh, that is her name. <clears throat> we call her Midge, um, but she is the sweetest little thing. And I just wanted to show you all because she is just super sweet and she's getting old. And, you know, I just wanted to get her out to show you. So give me one second and I'm gonna grab her. Okay, so here is Midge. Midge is currently, um, I think she has food in her mouth. For the most part, they eat dog food. She just wants to hide. So this is Midget. I think she's eating right now. Let me, let me see. Or she just wants to hide. Say hi, Midge. Say hi. Say hi. That's my little Midgey. Hi, Midge. And typically, when we when we pull her out, she'll just she'll just constantly just just lick the shit out of my hand. Sorry to swear, but she's she's just the sweetest little thing. 
And sometimes she's like a Houdini. Sometimes she'll get out of her cage and she'll, I don't know how she does it. I have no idea how she does it, but she'll get out and there will be no opening in the cage. So her nickname is kind of like Houdini. Now we got somebody taking a poop over here. Where you going, Midge? So this is my little Midge. I had Midge and I had Xavier. Xavier passed away uh, a couple months ago. Where you going, Midge? What do you see? Say hi. Are you still eating your food? She likes treats. She likes snacks. I don't think I have any snacks here. Maybe I'll get one for her and I'll show you. It's so cute. I have a little caramel corn. We're going to see if she'll, she'll eat that. She probably wants to take it to her house. <laughs> Where are you going? You want me to put you back? Okay, so there we have Midge. So you've all met Midge. Yeah, she just wants to go to her house and hide it. That's what she does. She's a little bit greedy. She takes all of her food and she just hides it in the corner and then comes back for more. Let's say goodbye, Midge. Okay, I'm back. So let's get into this big box, this big Timu box. I'm super excited. Now that Romeo is done, taking a poop hopefully everything's in it to be honest I don't I don't know I wouldn't even know if I was missing anything I does say quantity 47 items so there are 47 items in this box oh and I wanted to give a shout out real quick to um really Mimi really Mimi won uh the contest for naming uh Percy so Percy's new name is Oreo I don't know if Oreo is a boy or a girl I'm waiting to find out right now yeah He's just gender neutral, which is fine. I mean, he could stay that way if that's how, if that's how really Mimi wants it. We'll just call her Mimi. So he can be both, that's fine. Yeah, so anyway, her channel is awesome. If you have not checked her out, check out her channel. She, uh, she's only done a few videos, I think, but, and it was so cute because I watched her first video and she was so nervous. And I remember that's how I used to be um, whenever I first, first did these videos but and still sometimes I <laughs> well there he is hi Cheech you're just gonna groom yourself on my Timu box okay so excuse me <laughs> this is always a shit show there goes Bella so anyway um yeah her channel is called really Mimi she's super cute uh she gets really nice things okay this is slightly annoying Romeo just a little bit okay and uh so she gets really nice things she's sweet she um she lives with her granddaughters which i think her granddaughter actually named percy so that's kind of cool go tyson tyson's gonna knock over my whole my whole system here what, what are you doing okay they run the show here and like I said, if there's any haters out there, you can comment to me, but I'm just not gonna respond because I don't care. This is what they do. They're just living their happiest life. My little freeloading furry friends. Okay, so let's get into this box anyway. So check out Really Mimi. There's a lot of stuff. I might have to put it down here actually. I really hope nothing fell out. Okay. I didn't get, I don't think I got any cool bags in this one, actually. Um, okay, so I got this. I thought this was really neat. Okay, so this is all in one piece. The, so this is like a little condiment bowl, but it's separated into four sections and they're little hearts, as you can see, and it's pink, but it's a condiment bowl. And my daughter, she loves to have barbecue and ranch and hot sauce, you know, with her pizza or whatever. I mean, people, here love condiments me not so much I like them but I don't like I have this phobia it's funny I have this phobia of condiments I'm just making sure he's not going near that candle I'm pretty sure he's smart enough not to but who knows um so I don't like when condiments get onto my skin onto my hands like ketchup mustard mayo it kind of freaks me out so I have this like really bad phobia of that but um I thought this would be neat, like if we had a, if we had taco night, let's just say. So you have like your lettuce, your tomato, your salsa, your guacamole. I thought that would be neat to put in this bowl. 
and I don't know how much it is. If you like anything in this video, feel free to comment, um, and I will definitely send you the link to it. I'll see if I can try to send you the link to my whole order, but sometimes that doesn't work. So yeah, so there's that bowl. That's pretty cool. And this could have multiple uses. You can use this like as a candy dish. We can put different candies in it. So that would be neat too. Sorry about all the crinkling. All right, so we have that. I feel like I got a lot of socks in this order. I could be wrong. No, because I see two packs on them. So this must have been like a sock kind of day. Like, hey, let's order every sock that Timu has because they're $2. Let's do that. And then we'll spend $50 on socks. Anyway, these are cute though. I think they're bears. So we got this pair. And it has little ears, how cute. Oh, and these are my Timu nails. If you didn't see before, these are my Timu nails. They're kind of hanging in there. I popped up a couple. I lost one in the Giant Eagle parking lot. That was kind of a bummer. Thank goodness they came with 24 and not 12. Um, what else do I have? Oh, I have my, my Timu earrings. They're green. They kind of match the green in my sweatshirt. And I have this Hey Happiness necklace. And I wanted to uh, let you know that from the 8th to the 10th, and I believe today is the 8th, so we got to do this quick. From the 8th to the 10th, they have a sale going on. It's like a Women's Day um, celebration that they're having, but you will get a discount. And this is beautiful. It's gold and it has, I don't think it's real gold, okay? But it has um, little, if I can move up closer, it has little butterfly, like diamond butterflies. It's really pretty. And it's called Hey Happiness and I will link it in the description box below. But let's get back to these socks because they're interesting. Okay, so the next one we have is like pink and white and it has the little cat face on the front. How cute. Let's see. Let's see what it will look like on your foot. Oh, that's cute. It has a little hint of purple. That's really cute. Um, what else? I was gonna say, I can't really wear, I need to start getting more with black tops because I can't really wear white with black pants. Um, because I just think it looks silly. I mean, it could. I just think, personally, it looks silly. I feel like a, I'm having a Michael Jackson moment. So here's another one, just like the first one I showed you, except the first one has the thin um, lines going through it. This one has two thick ones. And then, oh, we have a bunny. Okay. So we have like a bear, a cat, a bunny. Oh, these are cute. So we got those. Hope everybody's doing good. Uh, I'm doing pretty good. I actually slept in a little bit today. I slept till about 1230. <clears throat> so just kidding, backtrack. I didn't sleep in a little bit. I slept in a whole lot, um, which is fine. I guess I needed it. I don't know. I, typically, I don't go to bed until three o'clock in the morning. So, you know, when I, by the time I get home from work and I wind down, it's... um. You know, it's late, it's two, three o'clock in the morning. So I'm a night owl for sure, I've always been. I've always had night jobs. And we have this cute little cat. They're cute, I like those. Adorable. I'm trying to peek to see what else we got in here. Where's Romeo? Okay, he's just, he's just sitting up there. Like you can't really see him, you can see his paws right here. Yeah, he's just chilling. He's probably falling asleep up there. Hey, Cheech. Cheech. Okay, he's answering to me. <laughs> he's silly. Okay, next we have, it looks like a hat. And I'm not really feeling this hat. Now, granted, it's still in the bag, but I'm just going to let you know that I'm not feeling this hat. It doesn't look like what it showed on on the website. Okay, do you see that? Like it looked super cute on her. But of course that's pretty much how everything is. And the brim is like very bendy, very bendy, but it's super soft. Okay, let's put it on. We'll, we'll put it on and we'll see. 
Let's not judge yet. Don't be judgy. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, okay. So this is, this is what it looks like. And as my Serbian grandmother again would say, you look like a Baba. Okay. I don't, I don't ever know. Like I never knew what a Baba was, but apparently people look like them. So there's that. I mean, the print is very cute. It's very soft. It's actually warm. This visor, it's almost like a, this reminds me of like a visor I would wear to a golf tournament. That's what this kind of feels like. Or like if you were, if you were at the pool and you wanted to wear a visor, I don't know if people do that, but that's what I'm just envisioning in my head. Uh, so I don't know. I don't know about this one. It's very comfortable. I will say that. Fashion-wise, I don't know if it's it's super fashionable. I mean, I, maybe I could pull it off. I don't know. Maybe I'll just, I'll, I'll do it. I'll just wear it. Who cares? Whatever. You only live once, right? <laughs> I mean, why not wear a goofy hat? What are people going to do? They're just going to stare at you. Whatever. Like, that's never happened before. Okay, so we have that goofy hat. Super comfortable though, I'm not gonna lie. And it's like a gray, it has every color imaginable in it. So you could really wear it with anything. Okay. Well, we had to get more socks, because I don't have enough. So I have one of those under the bed, um, huge, long rectangular Tupperwares and each side opens and that's where I keep all my socks. That thing is absolutely filled with socks. Uh, I have to go through them. I'm really bad about throwing things away. Uh, I, I probably have clothes from when I was 18 still, uh, which is absolutely ridiculous, but I have a really hard time getting rid of things. Um, and I had a couple things happen to me in my life and maybe I'll I'll go into that into a different video, but um, so I kind of like, I kind of hoard things. I keep things, I like to keep everything because I don't want to lose it. Um, so yeah, there's that long story short. This is a Turkish Angora. Okay, so that's what a Turkish Angora looks like, I'm assuming. And look, it comes with a box. How perfect, like, a cat in a box, because that's, you know, where they like to go. Oh, and I'll, I'll insert a photo of Romeo somewhere around here. I took a picture of him earlier. He, like I said, he was just sleeping, sitting up, and it was the funniest thing. This is a little tuxedo. This is my little Romeo. If you hear like some weird noise in the background, that's Bella chewing on a rubber ball. I mean, it'll kind of sound gross probably, but there's a little tuxedo with a little bow tie. What is this one? It's a Scottish fold. I've actually never heard of this. To me, that would be like an orange tabby, but you know, what do I know, right? I'm a cat lover. I don't know much more about it. American short hair. Okay, this is cute. And these are blue. These ones are dark blue. That's cute. Oh, and we got our little Siamese. Although this does not say anything close to Siamese. <laughs> I don't know what that says, but they're cute. I used to have a Siamese, his name was Kiko. And Kiko started having uh, like urinary tract problems so we had to take Kiko to the vet, spend a buttload of money to get him fixed, and Kiko became Kika. Uh, Kiko became a female. Uh, quite literally, he had a, a <clears throat> he had a, um, what's it called? What word am I looking for? A sex change, he had a sex change. But you know, we loved him nonetheless, just the same. I hope I don't see more socks in there. 
Okay, I'm gonna avoid the socks for a minute. We'll give the socks a break in case anybody's like, oh my gosh, I don't wanna see any more socks. I get it. I don't even, I don't even wanna see any more socks either, but okay, how about sponges? Let's move on to sponges. Now, I think I hauled these before. I know I did. I'm not gonna lie, I did. No, I think I did. I know I did. Uh, the Scrub Boss, but these are super cheap. These are probably 28 cents. And they're just great. Like, they're, they're so handy to keep under your sink. But they're just like these little foamy things, but they have like a scrubby outside. It's almost like steel wool, but not nearly as rough, I guess you could say. But they're still rough. They would still work. But for that price, it's amazing. And I know whenever things are that cheap, they only let you buy one. So what I do is I'll look at different sellers. And typically, different sellers will have the same item at the same price. So that's what I do. Whenever I find something super cheap that I want multiples of, that's what I do. Sorry. Hydration station. So at work, I always, I always say that and people laugh at me. Um, because when there's one or more people at the hydration station, I'll be like, choo choo, hydration station. And everybody's like, you're stupid. You gotta make it fun though, right? Make it interesting. I'm drinking my sparkling ice, black raspberry. I don't know if these are good for you. If anybody knows, let me know. Oh, and be sure to uh, like, comment, subscribe, please. Um, a couple times I, I've noticed that uh, I had a couple winners on my giveaways. Uh, and when I went to like tag you like at so-and-so, uh, it doesn't show up. But the people that are subscribed actually show up. So just, you know, for contests and whatnot, just make sure you're subscribed. If you want to be, you don't have to be. And um, yeah, just please like my video. Like if you enjoy my videos, please like them. It helps me. And then I can buy more stuff. Uh, to show you, to review with you. I have a, like another little mismatch. Mishmash, mix match. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I have a cat hair on my nose. But uh, I have another little video that's a couple, gonna be a couple different things. <clears throat> and I recently, just yesterday, made a video on uh, a clothing haul that I did, like a clothing review. That was pretty cool. Uh, all the items seem to work out really good except for this really huge pair of jeans. They were for my daughter, didn't fit her, but a little too big on me. Okay, so let's just get it out of the way now. We got more socks. Oh, and they're the same socks, guys. If anybody wants socks, these will be in my next giveaway because I got two. I, I guess they were like super cheap, probably $2. You know, the same socks I showed you before. Little kitties and bunnies. I hope her chewing on that ball is not being too loud. Because when I film these videos, everything is quiet. And I feel like you can literally hear everything. Like you could probably hear Midge chewing on her little corn puff back there. I mean, I hope not, but. Okay, what is this? Ooh, Romeo's gonna go nuts. I hope I got two of them. It looks like two in here. One for him, one for Coco, although Coco will not come downstairs. Miss Coco Chanel, the little carpet diva. He loves these things, and I, he broke the other one. Either him or Bella, I don't know. Bella likes to chew in his toys. They're cute. They're like made of like a, I feel like I'm like doing like a little marionette show with little worms oh here he comes he heard it well i thought you would probably be sleeping they're getting stoned somewhere he loves it come here come here come on come on i got you where's coco bean Where's Coco Bean? We gotta give her one. Oh, oh my God, right <laughs> Oh my God, he got me right in the leg. Okay, maybe I'm just gonna throw these over here. <laughs> I'm 
Okay, that one didn't work. I think that one got caught on my nail. Throw them over there. Oh Lord, that dug into my leg. <clears throat> that hurt. Okay, Q-tips, 100 piece. Who doesn't need Q-tips? All those, these look tiny. I don't know, let me see. I could be wrong. Yeah, they're tiny. I mean, but who cares? If you're just using them for makeup, like they're, they're smaller than your typical Q-tip. You probably can't tell, but makeup, if you get a little mascara under your eye. I have to get a new mascara, by the way. And I was gonna bring my other one down to show you. I don't know if you've ever heard of the brand um, Essence. It's E-S-S-E-N-C-E, -S -S -E -E, I believe. But it's about $5. You can buy it from Ulta. You can probably get it on Amazon, I'm sure. But it is the most amazing mascara I've ever used. And I've used a ton of mascaras. Trust me, I used to get a tons of subscription boxes, which is how I originally got my YouTube name, if nobody ever knew. And I never did my video on Get to Know Me, but I will, I promise. Uh, but I got my YouTube name because I got BoxyCharm and I got Ipsy and Slay Glam and, oh my gosh, Fashionista. All these beauty boxes I used to get a, subscri a subscription for. And uh, I wanted to do reviews on what was in the box. So my original YouTube name was Ashton's Beauty Talk because I was gonna talk about the beauty products that I got. But whenever I decided to not do that, I kind of canceled the subscriptions because I was just getting overloaded with so many skincare products and beauty products and they were just gonna expire anyway. So I'm so sorry, I have a cat hair on my nose. So that's how I got my name anyway for YouTube is Ashton's Beauty Talk, but I took off the talk because we're doing Timu, so it's not really beauty talk anymore. So I just left it Ashton's Beauty. So that's how I got my YouTube name, just if anybody was like super curious. I'm sure everybody was just dying to know. Um, okay, so Q-tips, back to the Q-tips. But anyway, mascara, Essence, you should try it. All right. Next, it looks like we have a little tiny, tiny purse. And it looks really cute, actually. I mean, it is super tiny. I couldn't even fit a wallet in here, but okay, it's sticking. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Sorry. And it looks like really, it looks like really nice leather, although I'm sure it's not. And it has this little flap in the front and then it buttons here. They put a nice little uh, pouch in here, which I'm actually gonna need because I have to ship something. <clears throat> I sell things on Macari, so I have to uh, ship a perfume out to somebody. So it comes with this really cool strap and these are neat, like they remind me of a peacock. I think my leg is bleeding. <laughs> and uh, how cute. Okay, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this with my nail, to be honest. These nails are a little bit long for me. I don't mind them, but it's hard to work with them. Like I tried to put this necklace on, it probably took me about 15 minutes. I was getting so frustrated because I couldn't get, I just whistled when I said that. I couldn't get the, um, the clasp to stay down. It kept shutting on me. Okay, so there we have the purse. Or there we have the strap, just kidding. Okay, what's going on? I don't know. Okay, there we go. With the strap, that is really cute. And it feels like it's made well, to be honest. The hardware is gold. The stitching looks really nice. And I like this little, uh, I mean, you can barely see it unless you're looking up close, but the stitching looks like little flowers. That's actually really cute. I like this purse. It's tiny. I'm, I'm more of a, a huge purse type of person. You know, just shove all of your 
shite in it and go, but I gotta stop doing that because, but it's so handy, you know? Like I, I literally have everything anybody could ever need in life in a purse. Snacks, nail files, mascara, uh, cuticle oil, Q-tips, uh, oh my gosh, I could go on and on. If I would show you a what's in my purse video, we would be here till June. Yeah, it's crazy. But I like having everything accessible to me, you know, like in case I ever need anything. That's really cute. I like that a lot. have to laugh because when I saw this it literally cracked me up now I know if you've seen my videos you know that I don't like umbrellas but I do like to buy them I don't know why I don't like to carry them I don't like to they're just a pain in the butt uh, to carry around so I thought I would get this one and I don't know if anybody's superstitious like, I'm like 50-50 on the fence about superstitions. So, I mean, I really don't want to open this umbrella in my house. But on the other hand, I'm like, you've done it a million times before. You're fine. Knock on wood. Okay. <laughs> this is absolutely amazing. Okay, so we have a umbrella it's a hands-free umbrella, okay? So you don't even have to carry it. Now, I know I'm going to probably set a trend with this one for sure. Let's get it up. Let's get this umbrella up. Let me see. Okay. Hold on. There. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Almost looks like a, like a filming studio. But just kidding. So you can put this, you put this on your head, okay? Let's try it out. Okay. <laughs> I can't, like I can't with myself right now. <laughs> okay, it looks a little bit crooked, but just imagine like you're, you know, you, you don't look so great, but you're walking around with your Aldi bags or your Walmart bags and you don't even need to hold the umbrella. You can have your boat, like both hands free. I think that's awesome. I kind of want to like pull this down further, but I don't want it to be in my eyes. It's getting caught on my umbrella. Okay. So there's my umbrella hat. <laughs> this is freaking awesome. I can't wait to wear this in public. I cannot wait to pull out my umbrella hat. You know, and people will stare at me, but I guarantee you they're gonna be like, oh my gosh, that's an amazing idea. That is such a good idea. I mean, it's not the most comfortable thing. To be honest, I have this, I feel like I hear thunder. I have like the little um, thing poking into my head. I mean, it's not like really uncomfortable, but I could feel it a little bit. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Oh, if I can get it off. Okay. So this thing. This thing right here. But it's not too bad. No, I think that's my neighbor with his stereo system. He got a new stereo system and he must be just testing it out every morning, noon, and night to see how awesome it is. It's pretty awesome, but I don't like to hear it 24-7. So we got the umbrella hat. I'm so excited about that. They I think they had multiple colors. I might get more. I don't know. I, I, this is like one of the best inventions I feel like Timu has had, honestly. So there's that. Awesomeness. Let me pull my table a little bit closer. Okay. Now, oh, wow, shocking. Now, who did I get these for though? Because I could have got these for my daughter. 4041. Oh my goodness. Stop it, Ash. Stop it. These better be for her. Uh, okay, so I wear a six 
six and a half. My foot used to be a seven, seven and a half. It shrunk. I don't know what happened to me. My feet got tiny. Uh, the shoes I wear now to work are a six, but uh, she wears like a nine or a 10. But how cute. Okay, so I was thinking I got these for her, but they kind of look small. And her favorite color is blue, so it would make sense that I got them for her. We'll just say that I did. Okay, I got these for her. These aren't mine. I didn't get myself more slippers, although I see some slippers in there, I think. Oh my goodness. Okay. Anyway, anywho, back to the slippers. But they have a really nice sole. And these feel super soft, super cushiony. The sole is really nice. I love them. And I think these were for something. When you find these on sale, grab them. Honestly, they're so nice. Now, I hope I got these for her. What's going on back here? You're not being very helpful. Oh yeah, we don't wanna see the cat. We wanna see the jewelry. We're not in a shelter. Well, I kinda of feel like I am sometimes. You know, I got like my, my dogs, my cats, my rats, my snakes. Who knows what else could be living in here that I don't even know about. Uh, okay. Scissors. We got some scissors. These look nice. These look really nice. Okay. It looks like they have maybe like a bottle opener right here. I, I thought that's what this was. Right here. I don't know, but they look really nice. They cut really good. I mean, I'm only cutting through plastic. Let me try to cut the box. Yeah, they cut really good. They're sharp. And I know that I know these were cheap because I'm not gonna buy some expensive scissors on Timu. No point. But they're really nice. And I like this little safety thing they come in. Very cool. So we got scissors. I should just leave these out because I'm probably gonna end up using them. Although I, I have two pairs of scissors already in my drawer over there and I don't wanna put a third one because I feel like even with two, they keep getting lost and no, because nobody knows how to put them back. You know, including me, I'm not, I'm not blaming anybody. Okay, we got more sponges. Woohoo! Sorry, I was just reading the back. Okay, so anyway, more sponges. Yay. Multi-function cleaner. Okay, so I was super excited about this. I want to try this out. So my other video, my truck haul video, uh, the haul that I did in the truck, I showed you jewelry cleaner. And I was so curious to see how their, oh, I just stabbed my leg, how their uh, little, well, that's the jewelry cleaner solution. This is the actual jewelry cleaner. I wanted to see how this worked. So we might have to just fill this with water and try it out. I don't know, maybe it's not even charged. We'll see. But it just sends these like electrical pulses. And. Mm. I think it needs batteries. Okay, so this is what it looks like. And it has suction cup on the bottom, I guess, so it doesn't like, you know, vibrate away. But it has this, and I don't know. This almost reminds me of one of those ones where you like had to put the coin in to open it up. Cause I'm not, I'm not able to quite get it with my fingernail. And I'm just gonna scratch the crap out of it. I don't know how to open it guys. Okay, so maybe I'll show you this in a future video. But basically, and it feels cheap. It does, it feels cheap. But who knows, it could work, it could work. So I got the jewelry cleaner to just put a couple drops of jewelry cleaner in with the water 
and then you turn it on and it basically just vibrates all the dirt out of your jewelry, supposedly. We'll see. I'll try it. Like, it, it just feels cheap. The lid doesn't quite fit on right, which is not a huge deal because you don't, I guess, nothing's gonna really come out and if it does, it's just water, but it just feels cheap. And I know it was only $5, so what do I expect? I can't complain. No complaining, Ash. But I just wanted to be honest with you guys. High five. Hi, Cheech. Hi, Cheech. He's going to start answering to it. He, he has so many names, just like poor Coco. Coco has a... Uh, several names. Romeo has Romeo, Rome, Romy, <clears throat> smooth, smoothie, because he's just like silky soft. He's the cutest little thing though. I love him. I got this. This kind of fell out of a different box and I guess I forgot to open it. So we got this box. Why are you helping? You're so sweet. This cow will eat anything under the sun, not just cat treats. He will literally beg you for any food that you have. I once saw him eat sauerkraut. We had kibasi and sauerkraut, and he was loving the sauerkraut, which is not good, I know. Don't come at me. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, how cool. Look at this mug. Let me see if I can. Look how cool that is but it has dried flowers in it. I honestly didn't think it would have dried flowers. I thought the flowers would be embedded into the cup, but the flowers are just loosely flying around in there, which makes it actually even cooler. I like that. I mean, it's kind of, it's kind of weird. I feel like I, you know, if you're not thinking about it, like I feel like I'd be drinking a flower. You know, you see one coming down at you and you're like, oh no. I remember the one time, uh, this was a long time ago. We lived in a different house and uh, I fell asleep with my white robe on and it just so happens that I had a glass of milk in my hand, I guess, whenever I fell asleep, but I finished it. So the milk was gone and I just fell asleep and Matt woke me up in a panic and told me, oh my gosh, Ash, you just spilled your milk all over yourself. And I looked down and all I see is white. And it was my damn robe. And I thought that I had literally spilled the milk all over myself because you know, you're know, you fast asleep and you just wake up abruptly and you're seeing white. And I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> but that's, I don't know why, why it reminded me of that silly story, but it did. And you know, if you don't like my stories, that's okay. You don't have to listen to them. You can just move along, just move along. It's okay. I have all my awesome friends here with me that like my stories. This was cute. Okay, so I think I was also in a sloth mood. So sloth and socks. That was like the theme of this team. <laughs> once you, because once you look at something, say you click on lightning deals. Once you look at something and you click on a couple different socks or a couple different slippers, then your lightning deal page seems to be socks and slippers. So I guess this night I was looking at slippers and uh, sloths, but here's a cute little <laughs> sloth. Look how cute. He's like blowing a bubble. That is adorable. Uh, how cute is that? What I'm gonna do with this? I have no idea. I mean, maybe just for fun, like a stress reliever. You know, you just, maybe for some hand exercises. I don't know. It's cute though, regardless, whatever. I liked it, I got it. I don't know why I keep looking at these packages like all of a sudden I can read Chinese. I can't, I cannot. Okay, next we got some jewelry. Ooh, my ear just went. Deaf. That always freaks me out when it does that. Like one ear will just go completely mute and it's like, 
Ooh, it freaks me out. Okay, we got some jewelry, which is not on the chain. Why? Why can't you just put it on the chain, Timu? Come on. It was like somebody that night was like, oh man, I'm tired. I just, I'm just gonna throw both pieces in here and call it a day. Come on. Now see, I'm not gonna be here for another 15 minutes trying to do this. It's not gonna happen. Okay. Okay. See, these nails are so hard to work with. I can't, I feel like I'm threading a needle with five inch long nails. This is a really pretty necklace. I mean, if I could ever show it to you, it's really pretty. I got somebody snoring next to me, somebody over there chewing on a rubber ball, which thank goodness she has it. Okay, I'm so sorry. Oh, that was rough. I was about to break into a sweat there. Okay, so this is the necklace. Let me, I'm gonna move that for a second because I wanna come a little bit closer to show you. So it's like a really royal blue and it almost looks like angel wings are on the side and then it has a diamond right in the middle. The chain is actually decent. I mean, it's not the best chain. It's not the worst chain I've seen. The back also has this design on it. I don't know. It, it kind of reminds me of angel wings and maybe that's why I bought it. It's really pretty though. It'd be really pretty. I feel like Rose on the Titanic. How pretty. Did they ever find that necklace? I feel like they did. I feel like it, they did and it's like in the Smithsonian or something. I don't know, let me know. I'm curious now, cause I feel like I heard that somewhere. And if so, like, where did you find it? Where was it? Um, okay, while we're on the jewelry, let's, let's do, uh, maybe a ring. Maybe, maybe. No, they're little fairy earrings. Oh, they're so cute. Maybe I'll wear these today. Oh my gosh, they're adorable. They're tiny. Let me move closer. I'm trying to do this so you can see it, but like I can barely hold it. So she's standing sideways and the wings are behind her and she's kind of doing this little, little pose here. But how cute is that? Oh, they're so cute. I think Bella's starting to get bored. We might have to make a part two of this box. To be honest, to be continued. Okay, speaking of box, I got a pill box, a really cool bee pill box. How pretty is that though? The bee and the honeycomb. Oh, speaking of honeycomb. So I recently bought a local honey from my area and it has the actual honeycomb in it. And what do people do with the honeycomb? What do you do with that? If you know, please let me know because I'm so curious. Isabel, I'm so curious what you do with the honeycomb. Do you eat it? Do you just discard it? Do you cook with it? I don't know, but I'm curious. Okay, so this is my pill box. And it holds, you know, it has two compartments. So you can hold, it looks like quite a few pills here. And it has a little mirror up top. But that's cute. This is also another thing I, I went down the, uh, what's it called? I can't find the word, whatever. The clasp is not that great. Like it doesn't fully close. Can you see that gap? Can you see it? But I mean, it does close, it does pop open, but there's just a gap. Open, shut, open, shut. You get, you get what I mean. It could just be like a, 
like a one-off. Maybe it was just this one. Maybe the hinge isn't quite set up right, lined up right. Um, I don't know what I was saying. Oh, the pillboxes. Yeah, so I started looking at a bunch of different pillboxes for some reason. And I don't even take many pills at all. Excedrin for headaches. These are pretty earrings. Okay, so we got these earrings. And they're gold. With like a, I don't know, like a cream, clear cream colored stone around it that makes it look like a flower. But they're pretty. Okay, maybe a couple more things because we're almost on an hour and I don't want to hold you up too long, even though I think people like the longer videos. Um, what in, there's something in here that I need to get out. So let me look for it real quick, okay? Oh, we got some, some more Q-tips. And if you don't have the little Q-tip holder, uh, I suggest you get that because it really comes in handy. It's like a dispenser and you put them in the top and they just come out the bottom. So you just pull pull them out the bottom. It's really it's really cool. I got the, um, the clear one with the wood top and then I put my either pink or green Q-tips in it. It looks really cute on my counter, but these are just kind of boring white. I'm kind of piling everything over here next to Tyson. Okay, these. Uh oh, we don't do like one item of clothing. Okay, so these are like Crocs. And actually I saw really Mimi had these. And she said they were super comfortable. She loves them. She wears them all the time, inside, outside, in the public, at home. And they have, I didn't get these for myself, but I got them from Matt. And they have this, I mean, they don't feel as squishy as Crocs, but they're still squishy. They have this inside lining Peekaboo. This inside lining that uh, is very soft. It feels like they would hold up well, actually. And it looks like you can, oh, you can unsnap it. Okay, just kidding. Yeah, you can unsnap it for no reason. Honestly, because they're glued. Okay, let me show you. It's easier for me to show you than to explain to you. Okay, so these snaps snap open. Okay, but, which made me think, okay, so maybe you can take these out and wash them. Makes total sense, right? But this part, this part is literally glued to the back of the shoe. And I don't want to unglue it. So, yeah, I mean, like, and that's okay. You might just be able to wash this whole shoe, to be honest. These are nice and they stink really bad. They smell like you've walked into like, um, what does this, this like brings back memories of when I was a child and I don't remember what it was. Maybe my mom or grandpa taking me to the shoe store or like the shoe aisle in Kmart when Kmart actually was a thing and I used to want to work there when I was four years old, I was always wanting to be a checkout person at Kmart. Uh, I'm sure my mother was thrilled, but yeah, that's what it reminds me of. Or like, a, like those jellies. Do you remember those jellies when you were younger? Those clear jelly shoes? It's not a bad smell, you know, it's, it's like um, a typical shoe smell, but yeah, that just took me back for a second. Okay, let's see. Oh. I'm not by any means overwhelmed, but I'm seeing something in here that I'm not proud of myself for buying. I need a drink after that. A stiff sparkling ice. <laughs> okay. We got a sweatshirt. Okay, cool. Look, I got the nice bags. Somebody said, oh, 
you don't, um, you know, us normal people don't get those bags. Um, I forget what else she said. And I responded, you know, I have probably placed, I mean, you got to figure, I probably made a hundred videos. My arm is getting tired. I probably made about a hundred videos. And so that's right around, give or take, a hundred team orders. Insane. I don't even want to say that out loud on camera, nothing, but the truth is what the truth is. So with that being said, I only just probably last week or the week before started getting these bags. So, you know, I don't know what it is or who they decide to give them to. I don't know, but here it is. I'm not gonna keep making a big deal about these bags. The bag inside the bag, you gotta have the other bag that the original shark came in. I hope this doesn't feel funky. Okay, so I got a sweatshirt in a large. And it is a jelly roll sweatshirt. And it actually feels really nice. It is not spongy. It feels cottony. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna speak too soon here, but it is a nice sweatshirt. Really nice sweatshirt. And I love the color of this. How neat. It really makes the, uh, the decal stick out. Because they had a couple different colors, but one was um, black and you couldn't really see this too much. Uh, I don't know what the other colors were. I don't remember, to be honest. But this is, um, this is kind of like one of those ones that's a little bit um, plasticky. I mean, wash it inside out, don't dry it. It'll probably stick to the inside of your dryer. Let's see what the material is made out of. There is one song from him that I absolutely love. Okay, 60% polyester, 35% rayon, 5% spandex. I mean, there's a couple songs that I really love, but there's one that I just, if it's on in the car, I just have to blast it and just sing along, thinking that I'm singing amazing, and then, you know, your radio, somebody turns the radio volume down, and you're like, oh my goodness. But yeah, that's really nice. I like that a lot. That's a really nice sweatshirt. Really good material. And I've said it before, if you find, I mean, I know it's a little bit of work, but if you find uh, a material, a material, use your words, that you like, uh, go to that seller and nine times out of 10, they will have the same exact uh, material in other clothing styles. So, that's what I've done a couple times. I don't do that all the time. I, I sometimes, I don't know, maybe I'm just a risk taker. Sometimes I just like, okay, we'll just see how it comes. All right, so should I show you the other? I don't know, guys. I have a lot of stuff in here still. Okay, so I got another necklace. And I have to go to work. Off to work I go. Hi-ho, hi-ho. Off to work I go. Not happy about it. But I need money. Timu needs my money. It's in a knot. Oh, come on. Okay. Now this person actually, this person was like, you know what? I'm going to put this on the chain before I go home. This is a purple one. Look how pretty. That's gorgeous. And it reminds me of my ring, to be honest. Uh, Alexandrite. But it reminds me of my ring. My ring needs cleaned. I need to use my jewelry cleaner, but look how pretty. I feel like there's something on my finger. It's probably glue. I just had to glue this nail on. It is glue. But it sparkles like a purple, blue, green sometimes. That's how my ring is. Sometimes it'll look real purple. Other times it'll be like a deep green or blue. This is my uh, Miss Blue. Is it Miss Blue? Jeez, what is it? Oh my goodness. Anyway, I'll link in the, the description box below. I'm gonna just shot my eye out with this necklace, but this is pretty. So same design on the back as the other one, the blue one. 
I probably got these for giveaways. And I buy a lot of rings for giveaways and that's probably not the best idea because I don't know what you guys, like what size you guys wear. And I hate to be like, what size shirt do you wear? What size ring do you wear? Because then it's not quite a surprise when you get your, your box. And Vicki, thank you so much. I absolutely love you. You are seriously always like the first one to comment. Uh, Vicki Mason, hi, thank you so much. I will be sending out your package probably tomorrow. I have to get um, just a couple more things for it. And um, yeah, and who else do I wanna give shout outs to? Cause all of you are just so amazing. We have uh, Sue, we have Vicki Mason, Roslyn. Um, oh my gosh, there's so many of you that I absolutely love. Jackie, Cheryl, uh, I'll have to make a list, really, because there's no way I would remember all of you, but I just love all of you so much. And um, and Shannon from Shenanigans321, if you are watching this, girl, please email me. I will definitely collab with you, but just email me, please. I think I probably sent you, I, I look like a, a weirdo now, like a creep. I probably sent you, because uh, I know you had been talking about doing a collab with me, and I sent you a bunch of uh, comments with my email, uh, but I never got anything from you. So, And I don't have Facebook, and I know that's where you do a lot of your chatting, but uh, yeah, if you can email me, I definitely do a collab with you for sure. I think that would be fun. Uh, and if you haven't checked out Shannon, um, she is shenanigans321. And she's she's cool. She's funny. She's real. She's down to earth. You would like her. And she swears a little bit like me. Like, I just don't want to be, I don't want to be phony. I don't want to be fake. I don't want to be phony. I want to be me and I want to be real. And I want to be honest with all of you on how I feel about these things. And to be honest, uh... Okay, we'll save it for next time. <laughs> anyway, I was just gonna do a little bit of complaining, but we're not gonna end on a complaining note. And I think I just spat on the camera. But anyway, I want to thank you guys so much. Please like, subscribe, share even, uh, and comment, for sure comment, because I love reading all your comments. I will respond to all of your comments. Um, I know some people don't, but that's okay. I mean, that's how they work. You know what I mean? Some people don't have the time, I guess. I don't know. But, you know, I will always make time for you because you are making time for me right now by watching this video. And especially if you're here till the end, you're amazing. So anyway, I'm going to wrap it up because I have to get ready for work. So I will see you soon. I hope you have a wonderful, uh, this is Friday. I don't know when you'll see it, but I hope you have a wonderful evening and weekend. And I will talk to you soon. Stay sweet. Bye.